describe the feeling that I hope the whole team had in the dugout prior to the game watching that ceremony for CC. Yeah, that was that was really special. Um, I've been a part of a, a few ceremonies similar to that, but um, you know that one just had a real personal feel to it with Amber and the kids, and, and obviously Miss Margie reading messages to CC, and um, I was sitting next to Judge. Told him I needed to put my sunglasses on when when they started doing that because um, you know CC just means a lot to me. Obviously we've got a great relationship, played together for a long time, and it'd be different here without him. But um, you know just um, thought it was a real special ceremony and cool to witness. Was that the sentiment throughout the dugout? A lot of guys reaching for sunglasses. Yeah, maybe so. I mean you know like I said, um, and you you saw during the um, during the video, I think he's. Um, He's made a big impact not just on his teammates here in New York and the city of New York and this community and the fans, but all across the country. He's, um, you know, affected a lot of people in a positive way. So, um, you know, I know that, um, you know, it's a special day today. What impressed you uh, playing behind Luis today in his second start? I thought he looked really good. I thought his fastball command was good, maybe had a little more life to it. Um, slider seemed to really have an extra gear to it when he needed it with two strikes especially and um, thought he looked like his normal self out there. You've been part of a lot of teams that have played here in this building. You guys have not dropped a series at home since April. What was different about playing here in 2019? Um, we just seem to play well at home. I mean obviously our team is built for this ballpark but um, you know we love being at home with our families and in our own beds and playing in front of our own fans and, and, and here in our clubhouse. So. Um, you know, I think that, um, you know, it's one of those things where we've just been on a roll, been playing good baseball, and, um, you know, hopefully uh, finish up strong this last week. Right, with a week to go, you guys are going to be half game down from uh, Houston. They have a tiebreaker. How important is that to, to beat them out to get that home field in your mind? Well, I think it's important, but I think it's more important for us just to play well and finish the season on a strong note and, and go into the playoffs clicking on all cylinders. I mean, we can't control what they do this last week, so... Just go to Tampa and Texas and continue to just try and slow things down, take things one day at a time, and uh, continue to play good baseball. Are you trying to keep up with Judge in the Power Derby, the home runs? Uh, he might be trying to keep up with me, but, um, <laughs> yeah, he's um, he's trying to. We'll see how this next week goes, but uh, I told him a few weeks ago I was pulling hard for him to get to 30, so uh, I think he'll get there. With the season, was it more impacting you the most, and how had it been with you as a teammate? Uh, he's been like a brother to me, um, you know, since 2009. Um, so I guess for the last 11 years, um, you know, it's just been a pleasure to get to play behind him and, and get to know him here behind the scenes. And not just the guy he is on the field, at the field, but away from the field and the way that he treats people. Um, you know, it's um, he's set a set a great example for uh, for all of us to follow. Right with the home runs, you're pretty close to 30 now. Does that mean anything to you with a week left to play? Would you go for that? No, the 30 doesn't. I mean, I've already hit. 18 or 20 more than everybody expected me to hit. So, um, you know, just continue to try and have good at bats and go out there every day and, and try and continue to take care of myself and be ready for October.